carrier, right? So if you're still using Switch <laughs> network or you know T-Mobile's network or whoever, you're still maintaining a, a GSM connection or a CMA connection to the towers, and the towers can't identify you, which is accessible to law enforcement. So perhaps you then turn off you know data plans and, and this kind of stuff and only use it on Wi-Fi. Sure, maybe, uh, but that's that's less to do with the ROMs itself. The other thing to think about and um, it's kind of this uh, kind of double-edged sword with, with a lot of custom ROMs is one, you often use um, untrusted sources and you expose yourself to the other security risks. And two, you don't often get the latest patches, right? So things like um, you know, some of the, the SSL search stuff or some of the um, kind of the new, new features in Jellybean won't be available in um, some of the custom ROMs. So it's kind of like you uh, use it your own risk if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you might actually never be creating a different type of attack surface, um, protecting about protecting from the ones you know about and introducing ones you don't. I mean, what I'll say is that right now, the, the laws of physics don't really really allow you to communicate with the cell phone company and not have the tower know approximately where you are. Right. right? There, there's no way to hide the direction you're sending your signals uh, from, from from the tower. If, if you're using mesh networking or you're bouncing your your signal through some other device, then you're you're doing that. Um, but tower is always going to know which direction it's receiving the signal from. It's going to know the approximate strength of the signal. I mean, there's some degree of approximation that the tower can, can, can guess. So, so the, the Ninja guys just did that sort of fun little experiment, which is I think a good example of how to decentralize, for example, um, off the tower. And so maybe that's the way to go. Um, I recently had an idea which, if anyone wants to implement, would be awesome, um, which is, um, who, who's familiar with Google sharing, Moxie's? Uh, thing that lets you share cookies. Um, so, like, so, that, like, so um, all four of us would be using Google sharing at the same And at any time, Google would not know who, which one of us it is making the request or visiting the web page. Um, with software now, for soft SIMs and software radio now, you can do some stuff, some fun stuff around swapping uh, your your NZ and your your um, kind of your your SIM card kind of uh, profile. And so. One fun experiment could be getting uh, 50 people in this room to sign up to an uh, all-you-can-eat carrier. So like something like, um, uh, what's, what's the one called? Straight Talk, $50 unlimited um, data and limited voice. So you get 50 of those plans, and you then randomly assign an uh, NZ for each call. So you can, ne you can never know which of those 50 people are making that call at any given time, and therefore not know who is at what location. Right, so you don't you lose the ability to take in inbound calls. Maybe you can solve that through some, some other back channel. Um, but you could try to do things like um, get around this problem that Chris highlighted, which is how do you maintain a connection to the existing infrastructure and still protect your 